The journey between Madrid and Barcelona and vice versa is one of the most frequent among visitors to Spain. Today we are going to bring you up to date with the latest news on this trip. You will find out everything you need to know about traveling between Spain's two largest cities. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. There are four basic ways to travel between Madrid and Barcelona, by car, by plane, by bus or by train. Let's take a look at the details of each means of transport and finish the video with a very special tip for those traveling between Madrid and Barcelona. The first option for traveling between Madrid and Barcelona is by car, either your own or rented. To get from Madrid to Barcelona, you have to go through Zaragoza, always on the A2 motorway, also known as the Autovía del Nordeste, which forms part of the E90 European road network. It is a dual carriageway and at the time of recording this video, it is a free road. The distance between Madrid and Zaragoza and Zaragoza and Barcelona is almost identical. In total, it is 630 kilometers and about seven hours of driving, not counting the stops or the time it takes to leave Madrid and enter Barcelona or vice versa. We lost count of the number of times we drove on the A2. The road is great, well maintained, but it can have a lot of lorry traffic, truck traffic, and frankly, it can be an unbearable bore. We don't think the car is by far the best option to go directly from Madrid to Barcelona unless you drive your own car in Spain. Add to the travel time the cost of fuel. The airports Adolfo Suárez Madrid Barajas in Madrid and Josep Tarradellas Barcelona El Prat in Barcelona are very well connected by what is known in Spain as the Puente Aéreo, the air shuttle between Madrid and Barcelona. At present, the Spanish airlines Air Europa, Iberia and Vueling operate flights between the two airports with an approximate duration of 1 hour and 10 minutes. At the moment, the plane is an interesting option only for those arriving in Spain from another country and wishing to make a connecting flight from Madrid to Barcelona or the other way around. Taking into account the time needed to get to the airports, the time required by the airlines in advance of departure and the flight time itself, the plane is no longer competitive with a high-speed train. It is likely that in the future the number of flights between the two cities will become smaller and smaller. The bus follows the same route as the car between Madrid and Barcelona, passing through Zaragoza. The fastest journey time is never under 8 hours. There are usually 15-minute coffee and toilet stops along the way, one between Madrid and Barcelona and one between Zaragoza and Barcelona. There are several companies that make the journey, but the only one we can recommend is Alsa. You can check prices and timetables on their website. When you look at the duration and price of a ticket between Madrid and Barcelona and compare it with the duration and price of a high-speed train ticket bought in advance, there is simply no doubt. The high-speed train has turned the bus into a not-so-interesting option to travel between Madrid and Barcelona. We would only recommend the bus to those who have left the purchase of train tickets to the last minute. And even then, you lose a day's travel on the journey. People who have been traveling to Spain for a while will remember that not so long ago there was only one high-speed train service connecting Madrid and Barcelona, Renfe's Ave. But in recent years the situation has changed and how. First it was the low-cost service Wigo by the French Sensef. Then Renfe counterattacked with its own low-cost service Avlo. And finally came Irio, operated by a consortium of Spanish and Italian companies. All train services pass through Zaragoza and most stop in the city. The fastest service between Madrid and Barcelona, which does not stop in Zaragoza, takes 2 hours and 30 minutes. From Madrid, trains to Barcelona operate from Puerta de Atocha Almudena Grandes or simply Atocha Station. In Barcelona, trains arrive and depart from Barcelona Sands Station. 
both the airport train and the airport express bus arrive at Atocha station. It is served by Metro Line 1 and numerous local trains. The airport train arrives at Sand Station. It is also served by Metro Lines 3 and 5 and many local trains and buses. In addition to these transport options, you will find taxis available at both stations. On our channel, we love traveling by high-speed train, which is why we've dedicated so many videos to it. You will find a video for each of the high-speed train services with details about each of them. We have prepared a video explaining how to buy tickets for high-speed train travel and another video with 10 basic tips on how to make the most of the high-speed train. And very recently, we published a 10-step guide describing what that high-speed train trip is like. We've got many, many high-speed train tips and information to make traveling in Spain at high speed a pleasure. Take advantage of them. The high-speed train is a great option for traveling between Madrid and Barcelona, and if you buy in advance, you can get very, very cheap tickets. So, car, plane, bus or high-speed train, four ways to travel between Madrid and Barcelona. For us, the car only makes sense if it's your own car and you are already traveling in Spain. The plane, only if you are catching a connecting flight shortly after arriving in Spain. The bus, again in our opinion, should not even be considered. And the big winner is the high-speed train. For multiple reasons, it is cheap, fast and comfortable. At the beginning of the video, we promised a very special tip. And here it is. If you are traveling between Madrid and Barcelona, as part of your tour of Spain, consider making a stop in Zaragoza, our city. Not because it's our city, of course, but because it's a city that surprises and enchants those who visit it. Take a look at our 13 reasons to fall in love with Zaragoza. In addition to discovering a city that few people know and that has not yet been invaded by mass tourism, staying overnight in Zaragoza has an added advantage. The city's hotels are much cheaper than those in Madrid or Barcelona. To make this stop, and if you're traveling by bus or high-speed train, you will have to buy a Madrid-Zaragoza ticket and a Zaragoza-Barcelona ticket, or the other way around. We hope we have solved all your doubts on the subject, but if you have any, take advantage of the commentary box to ask. And if you want to make your trip to Spain even better, enjoy the video you will now see on screen with valuable tips. We are off to that video now where we are waiting for you.